So my brother and I built some simple campers for our K trucks. Here's a trip we did with them recently. We actually just wanted some small campers that would allow us to go down roads less traveled. Hope you enjoy the video. Everything I think I need all packed up, ready to go. bags for garbage and already gonna be cleaning up some of our first garbage here just sucks people throw this stuff around hey it's not all garbage a couple sets of condoms here oh man there's a sock on them if I want to touch that one <laughs> gross yeah what a bummer can clean up some of this mess here and uh, move on our way people are dirt bags come out here cutting firewood and bar oil there Throwing the cans. Usually you see fast food containers, pop cans, beer cans. Oh, and couches like that one up the road. Did you want those socks? <laughs> <laughs> a lock there. Kids love mud puddles. I think it looks like you're just coated dog poop. <laughs> I think if we weren't running uh, highway pressures for 50 psi, they would uh, probably drop some of that mud out of them and grip much better. But I'd probably air down, but we're still making making progress. Yeah, there. it's not that big of a deal, so it will be fine. You can see it's good we got small campers because uh, pretty low clearance through these spots.
kind of funny posting videos on YouTube you get so many critics out there how we should have done this how we should have done that if they were gonna do it they would have done it better in a different way difference is I built a camper these other people are talking on their couches in the comfort of their own home and I've even had one tell me that uh, they're cute and all but you're better off with a minivan I told them minivans are perfect for camping and campgrounds and parking lots, but uh, you're not going to get a van in some of these spots like this. I mean, the clearance is unbelievably low through here, and the trail's tight. These are basically the width of a side-by-side, -side. and uh, yeah, it's not the most gnarly terrain to get through other than that climb into it, but you know what? I don't think most minivans are going to get back here. You're going to get stuck and lodged between a tree. Everyone can say what they want, but I'm actually out here doing this. I'm not at my home commenting, making weird comments on other people's videos. I'm actually out doing it. That's why I built these campers. actually a full-size car in this shot here can you see it so there's a car here's the gas cap right here looks like some type of station wagon bigger with small dots it flips upside down front hub awesome So the interesting thing about this old mucky trail we're cruising along at the mini trucks here is uh, it actually used to be an old railroad logging grade. Yes, years and years ago, they used to haul all the timber out of this entire valley through rail grade. They used to actually use old steam donkeys to pull it to the rail line and truck it back to town. After logging trucks became more of an efficient thing to get all the timber out of the woods, they pulled up all the track. But if you know where you're looking, once in a very while, you can find an old artifact and an old metal rail in the woods. All right, I'm gonna click my diff lock back on here. This is kind of a nasty little rutted creek bed here. containers. The trucks did pretty good. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, okay. As you can see, we're starting to lose light fast through here, so probably got another few miles of this, probably maybe four miles before we might get to camp. So unfortunately, along this route, we noticed many ribbons and markers indicating a new timber sale. So unfortunately, this old mucky track is going to be disappearing while machines come in and regrade and bring gravel to haul out all the timber along the route kind of sad but it's I guess a part of uh these roads I don't know if you guys can hear it it's an awesome owl that just there's two yeah talking back we just heard a frog it's uh beginning of February which is always a good sign right where we stopped there's a huge pile of elk poop behind me too yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> so yeah there's a lot a lot of activity over here right now and we're the only people out here so well we want to keep pushing on a little bit longer and see if we can find a nice camp spot yeah we're gonna roll There he is. <laughs> that was so cool. About time to put the extra lights on. Sounds good. But I think we're almost ready to uh, get to our camp spot here. We're camp in this nice little kind of meadow up on this hillside here. So what do you think about this spot for our camp for tonight? Yeah, I think this is a perfect little 
spot we can fit both trucks in it. up some tasty ramen. Well that is tasty. Wow, that's pretty good. Milk stout? Peanut butter milk stout. <laughs> you know about peanut butter milk? Peanut butter milk. Mm -hmm. great. Good thing you got more beers. This is tasty. Pretty good. Dude, it smells almost like onions or something. Yeah, it's, it's some green onions. Sorry, man. <laughs> I got some smoked salt yeah, over here. Paprika over here, Andy. Yeah. What are you boys snacking on? Making some joffles. You enjoy yours? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Is that it? You put chips on it, man. I was supposed to buy meat, but I forgot to buy meat. We got kind of sidetracked in the grocery store. I've got a steak over here, but uh, uh, you probably want to cook it first. Yeah. No man, you can eat that raw. <laughs> <laughs> I got pepper and salt. You can season it up. It's um, on, sirloin, some... natural. I like that. All right, I'll put some of that on a stick. You got there. <laughs> you think some there? I don't know, man. <laughs> what is <laughs> that? Flavor packet. <laughs> yeah, I bet. <laughs> Check this out. Well, that's looking pretty good. It's Fine pretty looking double. Perfect round. So you can tell by the texture. It's like dude, it's... that is like perfect. Usually I get mine a little scored. Though. That's yeah, we'll see what the other charred. side looks like. But this one. Oh, that turned out good. good. I think one of the most jack comments I got is that we, uh, because we had some burritos late night after we left way after dinner, but we had some burritos on our last drive and a uh, few people thought that we ate like um, homeless people because we had that, which is just ridiculous. Yeah, you know, it's not like we eat that all the time, but. Uh, you know, Michael. We should have just stayed home and made proper dinners and not gone on the trip. <laughs> the deal was, we wanted to get out of town and get moving. And the quickest way to eat something was to grab some burritos. Yeah, some people, uh, people are just such jerks. So we're making some deluxe ramen here. Using the noodles out of here, but getting rid of the flavor packet. This is some of our own custom flavor pack. This is smoked pepper paste, some garlic, hot sauce. What else is in there? Sesame seed oil and uh, some beef broth. So packs of punch here. Not bad, but toss that to the side. Taki mushroom and beef ramen. Pretty good. I think there's some trade-offs with sporks though. You know, you got those short little teeth on there, but you got that spoon aspect as well if you want to scoop a little broth. But some trade-offs though, those forks aren't as, uh, as long as you might like sometimes. Hey guys, hanging out. It's too warm in there for me, so I just stand right here and I'm just gonna <laughs> look in. <laughs> So building the interior larger than the exterior was kind of a hard thing to do, but there are a few drawbacks. People think, well, that's great. You know, you get a little extra space if you build the inside bigger than the outside, but uh, it's a little harder to heat that way. So yeah. you always have to consider that. You gotta balance that stuff out. And it's not legal for the ferry either. Yeah. They don't like it when you do stuff like that if you're gonna ride the boat. What's the fine? What'd you just find up here? Well, I've got a tick, which is weird because it's February, like, and, uh, I thought, well, no way, and sure enough, it was. It was It was like in the camper. And then I was like, well, check the dog over. And, and he's like, I found one! And the dog... Uh-oh, oh, here goes a knock-knock. All right, let's see if there's another one. No, do you, do you have any You, you didn't here? find another one? No. 
Do I have any out here? <laughs> I'm sure we probably got them on our ankles, not. man. Not good. I wore my tick boots today. Yeah. <laughs> tick boots. Yeah, yeah, it's February. We're finding ticks up here, but all this grass has been beaten down here. It might be a... This is an area where like some deers have been sleeping. Must be a good hangout. It's got a great view. I can see why they'd want to sleep here, but yeah. unfortunately it's covered in ticks in February. You know what else is cool? We made it up here, but neither one of us ripped our roof vents off today. <laughs> There's a lot of branches dragging over the top of them. So anybody that thought we should have made these higher, we totally wouldn't have gotten through where we went today. You uh, have to stop and cut like 50, 50 branches out. Yeah, if you, if you just want to cut wood all day, then go high. But these, these campers uh, were the perfect height, um, and I was still kind of surprised that the vents made it. Got the diesel heater running, nice and toasty. Getting ready to go inside the cabin for the night and stay warm and relax. Well, that was a nice night hanging out with my brother and my nephew, cooking up some good food. Got the two kilowatt heater running in here right now. It's nice and warm. Got the window partially open, the roof vent open. Plenty warm in here for the evening. It makes some coffee. It's a nice view to wake up to in the morning. Check this out. So here, I got some pretty good organic uh, instant coffee in here. Enough to make two cups with uh, enough cream for it. Well, it's raining this morning kind of expected it to rain yesterday we kind of got lucky never rained most of the day but woke up this morning with a few drops on the roof and it's coming down but we're gonna head out a different route today head home I got some other stuff to do later part of the day so just kind of enjoying this quiet time this morning it's about 7 30 looking at the snowy peaks awesome view right outside the window here nice spot Basically built these campers to get off the beaten path more. I'm pretty used to backpacking and kayak camping and camping off of motorcycles where you can kind of get out there a little further. Built these things because we use the trucks all the time. You know, I use mine for hauling uh, garbage to the transfer station and firewood around my property. The trucks are so narrow, you couldn't get even a small Toyota around the trails on my property. So this thing is a workhorse for that and hauling lumber and tools around. But wanted to make it where you could slide this camper in the back and use it for single person camping. I've taken my son out camping in it before as well. He likes that. And you know, we're down a little tiny road that's like so growing in that basically you can get the mini trucks in here or a side by side or a quad, but that's about it. So that's why these little campers make it pretty useful. You can get down to the smallest little spots that you're just not gonna get even a small Toyota pickup truck in. They're built for, uh, purposely built for us, kind of our needs. We've had a lot of people question why we did them on this platform or why we built them this way or why don't we go higher, did a cab over or they're too high, all these different things. Well, I want to be able to sit up in here and have enough headroom where I could sit up here comfortably and I uh, didn't want to go excessively high because there's no reason for that either. As you saw yesterday, there's a bunch of branches across those whole trail and roads we're coming in on. So a whole cab over and talk about sleeping up there. This thing's already hot enough. Sleeping up any higher is going to be hotter. And it's just going to add a way more height to go that much higher to go over the cab. So everything was planned out and thought out. I started off on a foamy camper about a year ago for this and I got discouraged. I tried the poor man's fiberglass and it was a bad route. It didn't work for me. Not to say it doesn't work for some people in maybe like a drier climate, but it doesn't work up here in the Northwest. At least that was my experience. 
lot of other people said why don't you make these things out of fiberglass carbon fiber all these different like aluminum frame all this stuff cost is one of the biggest things and difficulty in building i work around fiberglass and resin every single day and that's why i didn't want to build my stuff out of fiberglass i don't really like composites that much they're good for some projects but not for this wood is super light easy to work with readily available if you look at it i think probably 90 percent of campers and fifth wheels and everything are still made out of stick frame like this because it's light it goes together quick and it works so <laughs> it is what it is there's that saying keep it simple stupid it's pretty basic to go the simple route and look at we're out using these things they're dry it's raining they're warm they work for me and that could be right for everybody people want massive amounts of space around them i got that in the comments looks all right but it's too small for me my liking i'm not building for you buddy <laughs> i built it for myself <laughs> uh, sometimes even though you can use the comment section some people probably shouldn't <laughs> So this Italian sausage looks absolutely disgusting like this, but it's uh, pretty good stuff. The smoked salt and pepper combination here. Applewood smoked salt. Dude, I thought I had my cast iron pot in here. I must have taken it out. I don't know why. I was gonna, or my pan. Alright, snack treats are ready. Italian sausage, some egg, and a little peppercini in there. Should be good to go. Alright boys. It's funny how much people think they need. What's going on over here? Just putting away my stuff. Nice little things. Campers work great. Yeah, they did pretty good. Should've got a minivan though. I mean, we've camped in vans before. They you work. Think about like a Ford Aerostar going down all that stuff. It, it would leave looking a lot different than it went into the trails, I have a feeling. Crank it hard. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. A little more. Keep going. Okay. Pull it forward now. The beauty of these trucks is how small of an area you can turn them around at. This is just basically a corner of an old road. It's good to go. Not bad. Yeah. You're a good cameraman. I appreciate your cameraman work, buddy. He's a good camera dude. Yeah. He knows his sure. way around those things. Thank you, Alvin. It's 
funny, you know. They uh, they take a beautiful spot like this. What the hell? That's like a straight up automatic. It's too bad. They take a beautiful spot like this, a cool cliff, and just throw like garbage down there. Mattresses, flat screen TV. Yeah, scumbags. Yeah, a bunch of this along the way. This some twisted iced tea. Somebody's fast food container. This is just straight up lazy, gross human beings. Gonna ruin it for everyone. Tons of this. I've seen basically enough to accommodate like cases of this stuff. Alright, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Consider leaving a nice comment down below and uh, consider subscribing. Or not, it's up to you. Alright, until next time.